I have been thinking and reminiscing about my change, the, the changes that have taken place in me in the last three years. I still marvel how I went from a very insecure pe person that didn't trust myself to a very prolific original content creator. I am just full of inspiration. I am constantly flowing with well life. My streams, my waters on the inside are constantly renewing because I keep my faucet, my, I keep my tap open. But that would have never happened and it never did happen prior to a couple of years ago. Uh, I was just too insecure. I did not trust myself. Um, I had such a low estimation of my self-worth. I didn't have anything worthwhile to contribute. I lacked the needed wisdom to be valued. Um, all because I relied so heavily on Jesus or Holy Spirit. I never made the connection that that very spirit is me and that I am one with it as it. And so my well was dry. All I could produce, and it's not even produce, but all that I did generate was other people's content. And mostly the other people were the writers of the Bible. And I would quote their work to contribute something to the world, but it wasn't mine. It wasn't mine. I was just repeating someone else's flow. I was just redistributing someone else's water. And I look at myself now, and I just think, wow, what an abundant and full being I have become. And because I went through my shadow work, because I worked through all these issues, these beliefs, the subconscious beliefs that had punched holes in my bucket, so to speak, right? The, uh, the uh, utter worthlessness that Christianity first uh, programs and conditions us into in order to present a savior for those very same issues. I mean, it's just backwards and very detrimental. And that is what Christianity has done. It has first destroyed our innocent identity by presenting the story of we're all sinners in need of a savior. And then it comes along and produces the solution. That's like the Hegelian dialectic. First you create the problem and then you produce the solution. But what if there never was a problem in the first place? What if we had never undergone this indoctrination? Christianity would not have gotten off the ground. Not at all. But anyways, that is for me, that is water under the bridge. And uh, 
I am so grateful that I have walked away. I had the courage to walk away. I'm so grateful for all the pain that was inflicted upon me by Christians to get me to wake up, to get me to wake up to my own reality, my true self. And as hard as that was, in hindsight, the journey was so worth it. So worth it. I went from a poor and empty soul to an abundant and full soul. And I have so much to give to the world. So much of value. And all because I dared to love myself and trust myself. Like when I was a Christian, anytime I had a thought, I would always question myself and check myself to see, is this of the devil or is this of God? I don't do that anymore. I live in a union consciousness with the light, but everything that comes through me is light. I know that. It's love and it is light. It's the energy of the divine. And I trust that because I am that divine vessel and that divine being and that divine consciousness. And I have fully um, taken on that identity. And there just is no more doubt, no more lack, no more questioning. I am trustworthy and uh, I have become a very abundant being.